Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. So, this is our first tutorial of functions and graph. So, we have 8 hours uh, of this uh, topic. So, now let's start the first one. So, I will show you number 1A and number 2A for this uh, session. And then uh, for the rest of the question, then you have to do it on your own. So, now let's start the first one. So, I will show you 1A. So, determine whether the following functions are one-to-one -one using the algebraic approach. So, to show this one, okay, so you must let, you must let uh, fx1 equal to fx2. So, substitute x by x1 and substitute x by x2 then we'll get x1 squared plus 4 equal to x2 squared plus 4 so 4 minus 4 will be 0 so then next you have to shift this to the left hand side then we'll get x1 squared minus x2 squared equal to 0 now you can factorize this, then I'll get x1 minus x2 and then x1 plus x2, so equal to 0. So from here, when x1 minus x2 equal to 0, then we will get x1 is equal to x2. But when x1 plus x2 equal to 0, then we'll get x1 is equal to negative x2. So therefore, since, since fx1 equal to fx2 does not imply, so it does not imply x1 equal to x2. So therefore, we can say that fx is not 1 to 1 one-to-one -one function. Is that clear? For number 1b, 1c, 1d and 1e, you can do it on your own. Now let's look at another, this, example, uh, this question. So you are given uh, fx equal to 2x squared, 2x squared minus 1. Then uh, we want to determine whether the, this function is one-to-one -one function by using horizontal line test. So, if we get this type of, of question, so what we do is you have to you have to sketch this graph first. Then only you can draw the horizontal line. So, how to sketch this graph? Okay, so you have fx is equal to 2x squared minus 1. So, we find the x-intercept first. So you have to find the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, so you must let fx is equal to 0. So from here you will get 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So you have x squared is equal to 1 over 2. So x is equal to plus minus square root of 1 over 2. Okay. So, you can use your calculator to find the value of this. Okay, so roughly, okay, what about the y-intercept? Okay, y-intercept. Y-intercept, we can see from the function, so here. So, that is when x is equal to 0. So, you have f of x is equal to negative 1. So, from here now, you can sketch the graph. Okay. So, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So, the y-intercept is at negative 1. Let's say here, negative 1. So, the graph should be open upward. Okay, so open upward. So, it should be like this. Okay, so it's a parabola shape. So, this is a 
square root of 1 over 2 and here is negative square root of 1 over 2. So now we can sketch the horizontal line. So let's say this is the horizontal line. So from this horizontal line test, we can see that it cuts at two points. One point and here is another point. So what can you conclude about this? So we can see that the horizontal line test cuts at two points. At two points. So therefore, we can see, conclude that fx is not 1 to 1 function. So are you clear with that? Okay now, so you can continue uh, on your own or number what 2b, 2c, 2d and 2e. So for this one hour session.